This is CBS 11 News at 5 in HD. As to the charge of first degree murder, verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. So say we all. The verdict that stunned America. How did a jury come to that conclusion? A Florida mother acquitted of killing her daughter. Good afternoon. I'm Keith Garvin. Doug is off. I'm Karen Borda, and many people are still wondering, how did Casey Anthony beat her murder charge? She was found not guilty of first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, and aggravated manslaughter of a child. But she was convicted on four lesser charges of lying to police. Her sentencing for those charges is tomorrow. But today, we wanted to know how that jury might have reached its verdict. CBS 11's Steve Pickett spoke to experts who explained how a panel of jurors could have made such a decision. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. The jury's verdict in the Casey Anthony case clung to the proof standard of reasonable doubt. That is not right. I'm in total shock. I don't know if they're watching the same thing we were. That's disgusting. But the backlash of public opinion could be deemed irrational certainty. I'm so disappointed at the reaction of the citizens of this country. Veteran criminal defense attorney Barry Sorrells calls the contrast between defendant vindication and public vengeance is a byproduct of media oversaturation of this trial and a disregard of evidence. This case fell because uh, on the facts applied to the law. The most serious charges were murder case charges, in, in essence, and the state could not even prove that this child lost their life as a, the cause of death was foul play or it was even a homicide. Even though they tried to label it one, there was no evidence to support that. People want justice. And, and there's a fine line between vengeance and justice. UTD criminology yeah. professor Denise Paquette Boots believes viewers of the Anthony trial may look to the totality of the evidence against the accused mother, but may overlook one critical component. There's also a very high burden of proof that I think is put upon a prosecution in proving intent and proving how that child died. And I think that the prosecution in this case presented everything they had. But there may have been a very, very high level of expectation by those jurors. That high level of expectation, as the professor puts it, could be exactly what uh, the attorney, Mr. Sorrell, points to. Evidence of murder. He says, without that, you have this. Reasonable doubt. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.